So what is the battery life with the Dyson Cyclone V10? Well, it turns out there are actually nine different answers to that question. It depends on if you have it in low power, medium power, or high power, whether you're using the soft brush or fluffy cleaner head, or the torque drive cleaner head, or just a suction-based attachment. We finally took the time to do all nine battery life tests, and here are the results. Some of them are pretty interesting. For example, we found that with the soft brush, you actually get way more battery life than with the torque drive head. Just another reason to get the absolute version of the Dyson V10. And the reason for that is because of the different wattage. The torque drive head is 100 watts, the soft brush head is 30 watts. And that translates to an extra 10 minutes of battery life, for example, on low power. On medium power, there's not quite as much difference between the two. They all range between about 27 and 30 minutes. Um, on high power, there is a bit of an anomaly in our tests. You'll see that the high power with no attachments got lower uh, 5 minutes and 32 seconds than any of the others. For example, we got 9 minutes and 15 seconds with the fluffy brush. And I would say that may have been an error in the test, except the same thing happened when we did this test with the Dyson V8. The Dyson V8 with in high power with no attachments only got 7 minutes and 35 seconds, where with the fluffy brush it got 9 minutes and 16 seconds. So I don't know if that, that's something weird that's happening only in high power with no attachments, or it could be an error in this uh, particular test. So you can see our video with the Dyson V10 versus the Dyson V8 in the description or on the screen. And thanks for watching. Consider a like or subscription if you're interested in more content about the Dyson V10.